Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to continue our same lesson of math that what we have started in the previous class that is money. So open page number 51. Page number 51, chapter 5, money. So children, already we have started this lesson. You will get that video link in my description box. Just go and check it out, okay? So let's start today's class. So today we are going to solve exercise 5.1 in that already we have solved first and second main. You will get that video link in my description box. Okay. So today we are going to start with the another concept of this lesson that is problems involving addition in money system. Okay. So here third main that is let's solve it. So first one let's read this question. I had 625 rupees with me. My father gave 450 rupees 75 paise as pocket money what is the total amount with me now are you getting this question already i had 625 rupees with me and again my father has given me how much 450 rupees 75 paise as a pocket money now you have to count the total amount with me okay so what we have to do here which mathematical operation we need to use? Yes, it is addition. Already we are having. Again, my father has given me this one. So, what? We have to add the amount to get the total amount. Okay. So, let's do it. So, children, while solving such examples, first we need to write the particulars as you know that. Right. So, if you go through this question here, the first line is I had 625 rupees with me. So, the amount I am having. Right. So, let's write it here. Amount with me. How much? That is 625. Right. Yes. So, next one. My father gave me how much? 450 rupees 75 paise so the second statement should be the second line should be amount my father gave me how much it is 450 rupees 75 paise right so the total amount with me you have to calculate so what you have to do in this case yes you have to add you have to identify this one okay so let's write it here 625 uh, first one rupees next you can as already we have learned in the previous class, first we had to write this pay, rupees as it is, okay, one below the another. Here, if you are not having any of the paise here, it means it is, it will be considered as, what? It will be considered as a zero, right? So, let's put the decimal point, then 75 paise, okay? So, now let's add it. So, here nothing is there means it will be considered what? Zero. So, zero plus five, five, here seven as it is. Then, you just see here, where we are having decimal point. Okay, as I told you, we'll write the decimal point later. Okay, just focus on the solving the problem. So, 5 plus 0, 5, 2 plus 5, 7, 6 plus 4, 10. Right? So, now, where we are having decimal point after two digits. Here, we are not having anything. Right? So, here we are having the decimal point after two digits. So, let's put the decimal point here. So, what is your answer? That is 1,075 rupees 75 paise. Okay. So, let's write it here. The answer is 1,075 rupees 75 paise is your answer. Got it? Okay. So, children, while we are solving, you just open page number 55 and follow the example. Okay. Yes. So, now let's move to the second one. So, here we are having second question. Mahesh buys a pen for rupees 18 rupees 5 paise, a book for 10 rupees 75 paise and a bag for 125 rupees. What is the total cost of all the things bought? Are you getting the question? So, Mahesh, he buys a pen, a book and a bag of rupees 18 Rupees 5 paise, 10 rupees 75 paise and 125 rupees. Okay, now you have to calculate what the total cost of all the things he bought. So, what you have to do? Yes, you have to add all these to get the total cost. Okay, so let's do it here. What we have to do? First, we have to write the statement, right? So, first statement should be Mahesh buys a pen, a pen for rupees. This one we have to write, right? So, here... 
कॉस्ट ऑफ अ पेन हाउ मच इट इज कैन यू टेल मी यस इट इज एटीन रुपीज फाइव पैसे राइट नेक्स्ट सेकेंड थिंग ही बोट वॉट बुक राइट ऑफ रुपीज वॉट ही बोट अ बुक फॉर रुपीज टेन रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव पैसे इज एंड इट नेक्स्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ अ बैग इज दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑल द थिंग्स ही बॉट सो दिस विल बी योर क्वेश्चन मार्क दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड ओके सो लेट्स राइट ऑल दिस हियर सो हियर आई डू अ रफ वर्क सो फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट एटीन रुपीज फाइव पैसे फर्स्ट वन द सेकेंड वन इज टेन रुपीज See here, seventy-five pesos. Just see where I am writing the decimal point. As I told you in the previous class, that decimal point should be one below the other. So how much after the decimal point, how much uh, numbers will get? It just goes on writing it. Okay. Next is one one twenty-five. You you just see here in twenty one twenty-five we don't have any of the pesos. We have only rupees. So in this case, we have to consider this should be a zero. Okay, as I told you, we should consider as a zero. Is that clear? Okay. Now let's add all these. So let's start adding from the right side. So here we don't have any number means it will be considered what zero. So zero plus five, five five plus zero five. Right. Next seven plus sorry five plus seven is how much? It is twelve. Right. So I write two here and one will carry over to the next place. Now let's add this one. One plus eight nine. Nine plus five is how much? Fourteen. So let's write four here and one will carry over to the next place. One plus one two. Two plus one three. Three plus two. It is five u. Right. So let's write five u. Next, we don't have any number here, so it will be considered what zero. So zero zero one. Zero plus zero zero. Zero plus one one. So now let's put the decimal point. Where we have to put the decimal point after two digit. You have to see the number here. We are having the decimal point after two. Here we are having after one digit. But we have to consider the number which are having the more number after the decimal point. Okay. Here if you see two is there, one is there. So we have to consider this two. So one two one two. Okay. So what is your answer? Rupees one fifty four rupees twenty five paisa. Okay, so let's write the answer here. That is one hundred fifty-four rupees twenty-five paise is your answer. Got it? Yes. Now let's move to the third one. So here, Girija buys two kg of beans for rupees thirty-six rupees fifty paise. So first statement should be this one, right? So Girija she bought two kg of beans for. Thirty six rupees fifty paise and one kg of tomatoes for twelve rupees twenty five paise and one kg of potatoes for fourteen rupees seventy five paise. Got it? Now what you have to do? You have to find out the total amount that Girija should pay to the shopkeeper. Now you have to find out that how much amount is paid by the Girija to the shopkeeper. She has bought three items. Here. You can see beans, tomatoes, and the potatoes. Right. So let's find it. What we have to do here? Which mathematical operation we have to use? Yes, we have to use addition because we need to find the total amount. The total thing we have to find. Right. So let's do it here. First, what we have to do? You have to write the particulars. Will you write this one? Okay. Just take a paper and pen. Try to write this uh, particulars. Okay. So just pause the video and write it. So hope you have written it. Yes, so here it is. The cost of two kg of beans, cost of one kg of tomatoes. Okay, let's go on writing the prices here. First one, cost of two kg of beans. How much it is? Will you tell me? Yes, it is thirty six rupees. I'll write here thirty six rupees fifty paise. Isn't it? Okay. Next one is the cost of one kg of tomatoes. Is how much? It is twelve rupees. Twenty-five paise. Next, cost of one kg of potatoes is how much? It is fourteen rupees seventy-five paise. Now you have to calculate what the amount or the cost paid by the kirja to the shopkeeper. This is what you have to find out. Okay, so let's do it. First, thirty-six rupees fifty paise. 
नेक्स्ट वन ट्वेल्व रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसे एंड नेक्स्ट वन दट इज फोर्टीन रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव पैसे राइट सो नो वॉट यू हैव टू डू लेट्स एड ऑल द रुपीज सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम राइट साइड जीरो प्लस फाइव 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 प्लस फाइव टेन सो जीरो विल राइट हियर एंड वन विल कैरी ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस सो वन प्लस फाइव सिक्स सिक्स प्लस टू एट एट प्लस सेवन इज फिफ्टीन राइट सो एल राइट फाइव हियर एंड वन विल कैरी ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस सो सिक्स प्लस टू एट एट प्लस फोर इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व प्लस वन इज थर्टीन राइट सो नेक्स्ट थ्री एल राइट हियर एंड वन विल कैरी ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेस सो थ्री प्लस वन फोर फोर प्लस वन फाइव फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स सो नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू राइट द डेसीमल पॉइंट वेर आफ्टर टू डिजिट यू कैन सी here after decimal points everywhere we are having two numbers 1 2 1 2 1 2 right so let's write it here 1 2 got it so what is your answer that is 63 rupees 50 paise so we'll write the answer here the total amount paid by girija to the shopkeeper is how much that is rupees 63 and 50 paisa so 63 rupees 50 paisa is your answer got it okay so children in today's class we have learned problems involving addition in money system addition the here uh, i mean oh, they only have given the heading so it will become easy for you but when they didn't give anything then that time you have to think and solve the problem okay so here whatever we have solved is related to addition so we have solved one two three problems so in the next class we are going to solve the next main so till then take care of yourself be with me and will get the uh, previous video link in my description box just go and check it out okay so till then bye bye and and and, and don't forget to like the video share with your friends and do subscribe the channel bye bye